The blue parrotfish is found in shallow waters on coral reefs in tropical and subtropical areas of the Western Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. They are, as their name suggests, blue in color, with a yellow spot on their head which fades as they get older. They grow to an average size of 30 to 75 centimeters, although some do grow to 1.2 meters. They have a large beak that is used for scraping algae and other small organisms from rocks. With their teeth, they can grind rocks that they ingest into sand. During the summer, the blue parrotfish gather into spawning groups and after sexual interaction occurs, the females deposit their eggs which then sink to the seabed. The eggs will then hatch about 25 hours later. The blue parrotfish is found in water ranging from 3 to 25 meters deep from Maryland in the USA to Bermuda, the Bahamas, and as far south as Brazil. They are abundant in the Caribbean, but do not appear anywhere in the Gulf of Mexico. Their young can be found sheltering in beds of turtle grass. Around 80% of the time, they are searching for food. A big thank you to all you guys who leave us comments. For today's video, we are giving a big shout out to Pixie Moonlight. Nine pig nose sturgeon. This fish is a monster weighing a reputed 650 pounds and was caught in 2016 before being released back into the Fraser River in Canada's British Columbia. Pig nose is more than 10 feet long, 5 feet in girth, and it has been happily living in the depths of the Fraser River for an estimated 80 years. The strange shape of its nose could be from a fight or accident at some point in its life. White sturgeons are now an endangered species, but mostly because of overfishing. They generally grow to around 5 feet in length, although the biggest white sturgeon recorded weighed in at almost 1,800 pounds, was 20 feet long, and said to be 104 years old. So Pig Nose still has some growing to do to beat that record. 8. Cyclops Bull Shark when a fisherman discovered an unboard one-eyed cyclops shark inside a pregnant dusky shark in the Gulf of California, many people were skeptical as to the authenticity of this creature. The malformed creature would probably have not survived once it had entered into the world after the remains were examined by shark researchers. It is considered to be an extremely rare event, with fewer than 50 cases of such an abnormality having previously been recorded. Other abnormalities recorded in sharks have been of two-headed embryos found inside pregnant female sharks when caught. It is believed the embryo began to split as twins but may have failed to split completely due to lack of space inside the pregnant mother. Number 7. Half Fish, Half Bird A creature described as half fish and half bird surprised the fishermen that caught it in Guzhou province in southern China where the fish appeared to have a bird's head. The fish was later described as being a common freshwater carp, yet despite this, the story went viral with speculation that a new half-fish, half-bird had been discovered with a beak-like mouth and fins on its sides, giving it the impression it possessed wings. Experts were quick to point out that the unusually shaped head was probably the result of a developmental problem in the early stages of the fish's life. It was probably caused by a swelling in the skeletal system, which resulted in the mouth tilting downwards. Number 6. Salp Salp, or salpa, is a barrel-shaped planktonic tunicate that moves by contracting and then pumping water through its gelatinous body. The system of jet propulsion used by a salp is one of the animal kingdom's most efficient. While pumping water through its body, the internal feeding filters allow it to feed on phytoplankton. Salp can be found in equatorial water, temperate, and even in cold seas. They can be seen on the surface, singly, although usually in long, stringy colonies. They are found in their greatest numbers in the Southern Ocean near to Antarctica. In the deep waters of the Southern Ocean, they are known to form enormous swarms that are more abundant than krill. A single salp is between 1 and 10 centimeters tall, and a single creature can asexually produce tens of thousands of individuals which will be released from the parent at a small size. They remain attached to each other in the chain, feeding and growing until the food sources become too inadequate to sustain the chain. In 1920, the large number of salp entering into the North Sea led to the failure that year of the herring fishing industry. 
Although they appear to have similarities to jellyfish, they are actually related to vertebrates, animals with backbones. They are believed to be an example of how vertebrates evolved and also contain a primitive nervous system, which eventually evolved into the more complex nervous system seen on vertebrates today. 5. Fish Snake The fish snake is also known as the snakehead and is a freshwater fish native to Africa and Asia. They are an elongated predator with long dorsal fins, large mouths, and shiny teeth. The fish snake is also able to breathe air through its gills, allowing them to cover short distances across land. The fish snake is a notorious intentionally released invasive species becoming very successful due in part to having no natural predators in those regions it has been introduced into. Adult fish snakes will eat other fish, frogs, and occasionally small mammals such as rats. There are around 40 species of fish snake, with the smallest being the dwarf snakehead growing to just 25 centimeters or 10 inches. Most species grow to between 30 and 90 centimeters, 12 to 35 inches. There are five species that reach an excess of one meter, three feet, three inches. Four, hornet fish. Hornet fish are also known as flute mouth. There are four species that can be found in the tropical and temperate waters of the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. They can be found on soft seafloors such as sand flats, sea grasses, and coral reefs. They possess an elongated snout that ends with a mouth containing minute teeth. At the other end of their body is the end of the backbone extending to a forked tail fin. The largest cornet fish can grow up to two meters in length. The blue-spotted cornet fish and the red cornet fish are found in the oceans of the Atlantic and Western Pacific as well as the Mediterranean Sea. The reef cornet fish and deep-water cornet fish are primarily found in the Eastern Pacific Ocean. 3. Armored Sea Robin The armored sea robin is also known as the armored gurnard and is found in deep waters of the world's tropical regions. They are related to the family of sea robins in the Triglidae family. They are different from sea robins in that they are encased in heavy scales that feature prominent spines. They also have prominent barbells on their chins. They have large pectoral fins, which when they are swimming, open and close like a bird's wings in flight. They are able to glide short distances above the surface of the water, similar to that of a flying fish. They prefer to be in deeper water, often down to 200 meters below the surface. They measure about 30 to 40 centimeters long with a solid skull. When caught, they make a croaking noise similar to a frog. 2. Mystery Fish This unknown fish was found in a fish market in Japan. It has been researched on several sites but remains without a name. Do you know what type of fish this is? Let us know in the comment section below. Number 1. Lancet fish. The lancet fish is a large predatory fish also known as a scaleless lizard due to its appearance. They can grow up to two meters in length, although little is known about this fish except that it is found in all the world's oceans except for the polar regions. They have been recorded as far north as Greenland and are often caught by vessels fishing for tuna. There are two species of lancet fish, the short-snouted and the long-snouted. Both species have relatively long and pointed snouts. The short-snouted lancet fish has a slightly shorter snout than the other species. The main feature of the lancet fish is its high and long dorsal fin. The dorsal fin contains 41 to 44 rays occupying the greater length of the fish's back. The fin is twice as high as the fish's deep. The mouth is wide with two or three fang-like teeth on each jaw with numerous smaller teeth. There are no scales present on this fish and the fins are very fragile. 